Um, a cool little thing that I learned about maybe a month into doing Hammer was you can click on something and control click and then what you can do is you can hold on to shift and while you're holding on to shift you can click and drag something and if you want it to be at the same area you're going to have to use alt as well so now you have two of the identical things it duplicates it so you can do this with I'll show you. you can do this with like a window if you like your window you can click with control and go to the bird's eye view and you can drag this over so now you have two windows kind of cool um, we're going to delete that, but yeah, it's good for if you're creating a lot of walls or a lot of the same thing. But anyways, okay, so we're going to click on our door, and we're going to press Control T, which is tying it to entity, giving it like a function or something, and we're going to go down to Funk, Move Linear. Um, you're going to change the name to Door. You're going to change the Move Direction to Down and you're going to change the move distance since that's going to be how far it's going to move since we have about a 115 unit tall door we're going to change it to 115 and click apply now we're going to create a little elevator and we're going to just create a block over here with the block tool and make sure it's not too tall so you can actually jump onto it holding alt remember that and so it's coming out of the ground, so it's not stuck in the ground. Click Enter. It's going to create this block. So something like that. You don't have to make it perfect, just so it's movable. Now we're going to tie the same entity, so Control T while clicking, while having this selected, and change it to Funk Move Linear, just like before. Um, change it to Elevator for the name. Change the move direction to up instead of down and choose the move distance to 100 sounds fine. So now apply. Now we're going to tie a button entity to each of these buttons. So control T, funk button is what we're looking for. Um, and then make sure that's pretty much for button. You can just leave all the defaults. But in the output, we're going to put add and we're going to put my output. Let's make sure it's clicked. Oh, oops, okay, I didn't have a button. Make sure you click Apply. That way when you go to the Outputs, it knows it's a button. So Apply, go to Outputs, and now you're going to change my output named to on in. So that means when you hit the button in, when you press E, it's going to do the following. Target entities named, you're going to change that to door. You can either type in door, or you can click the little down, um, drop down button. Go to door, and then via this input, it's going to open the door. So go down to Open and now click apply. Now we're going to close that and click on our other button. You're going to click control T, go down to funk button again, um, click apply, go to outputs, click add, and we're going to say on in just like before, but this time it's going to be the elevator for target entities. And we're going to say open just like that, but in this case it's going to move the elevator up instead of our door add a delay of about a second, so 1.0, and click apply. We're adding a delay, so after you hit the button, you can jump on to the elevator instead of it moving without you. Okay, um, last but not least, this should actually be deleted, um, we're going to make a, an, a teleport. So with the brush button, or the block button again, we're going to create a little stand, a little base, so holding Alt, make a little base so you can make it not too tall so make the height a little bit lower make it so you can actually step onto it click enter so now this is a little base that we can step onto if you want oh, we'll just leave it like that okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to have that button um, selected and like before we're going to hold shift and alt from the side view and we're going to drag it up so we're duplicating it so now we have two layered on top of each other and what we're going to do is we're going to drag this up. So now we have this giant block on top of the block we originally made. And let's make it a little smaller. So drag it in like that and move it with the Alt button being held on to. Click Shift A to do the textures, Browse, Tools, and we're going to click Trigger. It's the bottom right one. It's orange. 
apply that trigger so you see it's see-through. Trigger is kind of nice, a nice texture because you can walk through it and you can't see it, but this way if somebody steps on it you can add an output to it. So what we're going to do is click on it, press Control T, so we're applying a function to it and go down to Trigger Teleport. Press a press um, the only thing you need to change is remote destination. Change that to tele, T-E-L-E, -E, underscore dest, D-E-S-T. Um, you can name this anything. You just put destination, you can put teleport, destination. This is where we're going to, this is the um, name of the function that we're going to be teleporting to. Click apply, close it, and over here, we're going to create that teleport destination. Click the entity tool, click go down to info teleport destination and just left click it it's going to look a lot like the info um, player um, spawn like that but it's all green just make sure it's above the ground so you're not teleporting into the floor or into the wall and you can move it around just to make sure um, double click on it and we're going to change it to tele underscore dest just like we made before you can just name it teleport if you're confused by this but yeah, okay, click apply. So now we have all of our stuff. We have our windows, we have our water, we have our door, we have our buttons, and we have our teleport. So you're gonna save it, control S or file save, and then we're gonna run the map. You should know how to compile from my last tutorial. If not, go back and check it out. Okay, so now we have Counter-Strike up. We're gonna pull up our map. Okay, click OK. We'll choose one of the characters. So now if we look, we've got let's move over. We got our windows. So number one, one of them's gonna be breakable, one's not gonna be breakable, but as you see you can kind of see through them. So no matter how much we shoot, it's not gonna break. This one breaks right away, so we can jump through it if we want. So those are the windows. Now we got our water, so we can jump in and we can swim through it just like you see in other maps there's our water and then last so we're going to go over here and we've got our door with our buttons so we'll go over and press E so as you see the door opens now we go over this one click E and jump on top of it and it's going to move up just like we asked it to um, and lastly we have our teleport we're going to walk onto it teleports us over here we're going to walk onto it, teleports us over here. Okay, that's it.